Hi there, I'm Black Bright. Welcome to my channel. First time you're passing, please like, subscribe and share. Um, today I thought I'd talk about 5G. Um, yeah, a lot of hype going on about it. Lots of people. We've got a lot of... No, I don't even want to say scaremongering because it has got some validity to it. You know, with any time that there's um, overdose of anything. Anything in moderation is okay when it gets over the top it's going to cause a problem and all the radioactivity and magnetic fields that they need to fire up the 5g it will have an impact on us as humans and um yes yeah, so i wanted to talk a little bit about that um so let's take us back to the 1980s when we had the first generation 1g which was voice act Activated. Then we had second generation, which was 2G, I think that was text. And then we had um, generation 3G, and what was that? Um, internet, I thought it was internet. And then we had fourth generation, which was completed the digital migration, they say, they call it. And now we have 5G, which is supposed to mean faster downloads and it works on a wide variety. Apparently, 5G will eventually, it's got these sensors and it be able to go through concrete walls. It reminds me of those drones that they were talking about that could get through different, you know, little small holes and it'd be targeted at certain people. Well, 5G is going to be a little bit like that. It's going to be very focused. It's going to be... Um, it's going to be it's, it's going to take a while to set up all the infrastructure if you get a 5g phone now um, i don't think all the infrastructure is in place so it will mean that there'll be lots of places that you'll go where you won't get no signal and i hear it drains the battery and i hear that it's going to be a very large phone in order to um because the battery is really large and in order to get all the sensors and components and antennae so yeah it's um if you're thinking about the phone yeah it's supposed to it's supposed to be a pretty whizzy phone but yeah it comes with problems well i shouldn't even say problems it comes with risks put it that way so um what are we doing about 5g well it's not what we're doing it's going to happen whether we like it or not um i was thinking about you know if governments um if it's that dangerous why would governments endorse it because they're going to be affected as well aren't they um unless they've got some kind of magnetic shield that's going to protect them from the radioactivity um what's scary though is that 5g is going to work with alexa it's going to work with um smart meters and all of those currents on all of those electronic waves are really not good for us living in that kind of environment um, they do say that the magnetic waves will have an impact on our health and i think that's the scary thing about it um what else was i going to say um i'll just read what i wrote um, it needs radioactivity to facilitate faster downloads. It uses the same amount of data, but it will cost more money. The thing is, is that when you have the 5G, well, especially the phone, apparently you can load down a film, a whole film, in a couple of seconds. The only thing is, is that it will give the illusion that because it's downloading in a couple of seconds, it's, it's almost like it's not going to use the same amount of data, but it does. It'll use exactly the same amount of data. So you're going to need a lot of data if you have 5G because it's going to eat it up just as quick, if not quicker, because you're going to have the illusion that because you can download it fast, you're going to do more downloading. So you've got to be, have take that on board. Um, there's going to be a lot of complex signals and modern antennae designs. Apparently, the increased radioactivity slows down the mental process that is already happening because we are becoming more reliant on Google to answer our questions than going to the library to read a book. It's all to do with um, what I was talking about in an earlier video about how um, we have become lazy and how um, we're s it's setting us up for things like 5G where we just want things to be quick we want it to be accessible we want it to be convenient 
and you know like I said we're all fodder for this kind of new technology if you're not conscious if you're if you don't want to do things for yourself I mean okay remote control that's fine but soon you'll be wanting a TV that you don't need to use a remote control. You'll want to speak to your TV and say, look, let me see what's on. Um, change the channel to what's it, what's it. You know, I'll, you know what I like TV. Show me um, the programs that I like. Soon you'll be moving in that direction. And it's laziness. It really is. It's wanting things quick and easy. And it's it's the path to your mental demise. Because why do you need a brain if you've got somebody doing everything for you? You need to use your brain. Anything you don't use, you lose. Remember that. Um, what else was I going to say? Anything artificial is bound to impact the human immune system from medication to electric waves and electromagnetic forces. The health effects due to chronic or occupational exposure may not manifest itself for months or years in human. And I don't know how many of you saw Erin Brockovich. Do you remember that movie where it wasn't radioactivity, but it was something that they found in the water that was causing nosebleeds and all kinds of diseases? That's what they reckon radioactivity will do when you're on it constantly. It will show up in things like that. You know, slow little doses, but remember, it's going to be cumulative because it's the wire, wireless devices. It's your Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi gives out um, magnetic fields, radioactivity. So does all the wireless networks that you have from laptop to laptop. Then you've got your phone. Then for some of you, you've got smart meters. If you've got Alexa in your house, you've got that as well. So you're just kind of being bombarded with um, radioactivity from all levels. Then you've got your microwave. It's coming at you from all angles, so you really need to moderate the, the convenience levels. Um, 5G is a broadcast for high-density information transfer. It has increased densification, which means more transmitters in close proximity to humans, so we have more exposure to it. The 5G apparently has the capacity to map the environment in your home in 3D. Lots of warnings about 5G, but it's the exposure that cell phones, wireless networks, smartphones, court cell towers, and a combination of all these things together that makes 5G worrying. There are four kinds of magnetic films that are harmful to human health. Um, our planet's magnetic fields is believed to generate deep down in the Earth's core, this flow of liquid iron generates electric currents, which in turn produces magne magnetic fields. Charged metals passing through these fields go on to create electro electric currents of their own. And so the cycle continues. So we've got radio frequency, which is harmful. The radiation, which includes radio waves and microwaves, is at the low energy end of the electromagnetic electromagnetic spectrum. If radio frequency radiation is absorbed in large enough amounts by materials containing water, such as food, fluids and body tissues, it can produce heat. This can lead to burns and tissue damage. We are Earth's magnetic field, solar wind streams of electrically charged particles that flow from the sun would strip away the planet's atmosphere and oceans. As such, Earth's magnetic field helps to make life on this planet possible, researchers have said. So we are, we are getting more and more exposure. Wi-Fi dangers made worse by cumulative effect wireless routers, as well as Bluetooth and similar wireless systems, give off electromagnetic radiation in the low gigahertz frequency. This level is considered potentially dangerous to people, like mobile phones. Ah, oh dear. Well, Wi-Fi uses radio waves to send information. You're not only exposed to electro electromagnetic fields from your own router. There's also dirty electricity, which is also a problem. It's both usable and potentially harmful. 
dirty electricity is a byproduct of using modern electronics. It does not only unnecessarily to it is not only unnecessary to power our homes and business, but actually can harm electronics and interfere with sound systems. It also poses challenges to our health. Dirty electricity is said to be caused by a variety of electrical devices, dim light switches and compact fluorescent light bulbs. It should be noted that dirty electricity is not actually a scientific term. It is measured as the noise caused by harmonics in an electrical system. With the electromagnetic spectrum, you need to be careful with how much exposure you get to these waves. X-rays produce such an intense burst of energy that they can kill cells in your body if you contact them unprotected at a sufficiently high energy level. Shortwave energy can be harmful to human health, potentially causing damage to biological tissues. The fifth generation, which is the 5G network, promises lightning fast download speeds in an Internet of Things revolution, which is an extension of the Internet connectivity into physical devices and everyday objects. Embedded with these electronics, Internet connectivity and other forms of hardware these devices can communicate and interact with others over the internet and they can be remotely monitored and controlled and rapid streaming with essential zero latency that means there's no time delay from the time you click on something to the time it jumps up at you um yeah responses given in information technology. Real 5G technology requires new mobile networks and new phones. Apparently some will be asking 4G to adapt to accept 5G, but apparently it's only real 5G te technology that will operate with the new mobile networks and they're going to take time so they're going to kind of try to adapt the 4G to accept the 5G as an interim measure. Um, faster da data also means your device modem doesn't need to be awake as long when you need to download large files. When 5G is mature, you could see battery life benefits in the long term, but in the interim, it will suck out all your battery life out of your phone. So you're not going to have it for very long. I don't know how, you, I don't know how long that battery is going to last. But if you consider what it's going to be doing so quickly, I can imagine it probably lasts about an hour if that. 5G theoretically supports more simultaneous users. Although the signal has a lot of room for data, millimeter waves don't pass through obstacles very well. Even your hand can completely block a 5G signal. However, updated 5G will enable it to penetrate through concrete brick walls. USA companies have been running a trial of pseudo 5G home internet. And Verizon, which is an American company, became the first major ISP to launch 5G home internet service. Radio waves are the backbone of 5G connections, so you can understand why people are kicking up a storm. The Samsung Galaxy 10 5G has an enormous 6.7 inch display and a slightly thicker frame than the other S10 models because it needs to accommodate the 5G hardware and a larger battery. Extra hardware make it quite expensive. You probably won't see improvements in 5G hardware until 2020 um, with the arrival of Calcom new modem, which will integrate 5G and 4G into a single chip. That component will save power and make the phones cheaper. The slimmer antenna designs launching alongside the X55 chip will make the devices less bulky. So even though some 5G phones are ready, the networks are not. Carriers will need to build a lot of expensive infrastructure to support 5G. A 5G network needs more towers to cover the same areas under the LTE umbrella right now and lower frequencies which will be able to go through obstacles and inside buildings won't come into most carriers until 2020 or 2021. Thinking about a 5G phone? In the long term it will improve, but currently they will be expensive phones with a low life battery. 
and it will only work in areas that have 5G infrastructure set up. So that's 5G in a nutshell. Um, I know it's not, I haven't done it all technical and stuff like that, but I hope it makes sense. Basically, 5G is not going to happen for now. They're putting the stuff in place, all the towers and stuff, and the phone. We say here that Samsung is with their advert future ready, so it is going to be a part of the future. But it is going to be at some risk to our health, so we're going to have to be very, very careful not to overload our homes with items that use radio frequency too much. I mean, it's probably better to get one item that does everything, but that's not going to be possible. So just be careful how much equipment you have that's wireless and that uses radio frequency to operate. And that's all for now. Bye-bye. Oh, my phone isn't working. Let me do it this way because it looks like my mobile's got a bug.